I sat for an hour or so with 24 women who had uh, fled just in the last few days and weeks from Myanmar and they told us their stories and it was uh, a story of trauma and terror and people being subject to the most appalling forms of violence and assault and uh, that one could possibly imagine so you know it's hard to listen to to think that people can do this to other people I think the important thing is that these women who've suffered so greatly now get the help that they need the counseling the food the shelter the protection the medical and other related uh, services so as you know we are on the verge of launching the next phase of the UN response plan it's really important that as we have done we incorporate the uh, gender-based violence uh, elements into that the programming for UNFPA and for other relevant organizations that's an essential part of the overall response I have a 17 year old daughter um, and I'm married and I hear the stories of those women and those young girls and I can't contemplate how terrible it would be to imagine my own wife or daughter being in those kind of circumstances. It's beyond human the kinds of suffering that those women have been put through.